ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಾಧಿತ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 
राम राम हरे हरे एवं जन्म निपति तम प्रभवाहि कूपे कामाविकाम मनु या प्रपतनो प्रसंग्या कृतपात मुशात सुरल सिन भगवान गीता स्वाहम कथम विश्रीजी तव भीत सेवाम एवं जनम निपतितम प्रभवाहि कूपे कामाविकाम मनु या प्रपतनो प्रसंग्या कृतपात मुशात सुरल सिन भगवान गीता सो अहम कथम विश्रीजी तब भी तो सेवा गौरीय गोष्टीपति गौरीय गोष्टीपति शीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट व्हाट इज़ द एक्चुअल ड्यूटी ऑफ़ साधु व्हाट इज़ द एक्चुअल ड्यूटी ऑफ़ साधु द एक्चुअल ड्यूटी ऑफ़ साधु इज़ दैट the jivas that previous uh, whatever kind of sinful activities and sanskar are there whatever sinful mind and intelligence in order to destroy that completely that is the actual role that is the actual role of sadhu gauriya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramans jagat guru told that what is the actual duty of sadhu what is the actual duty and role of a sadhu the actual role and duty of a sadhu is whatever kind of sinful activities or sanskar that previous uh, all bad sanskar are there in the jivas all bad sanskar of the jivas what are there whatever kind of uh, all vyasan bad vyasan are there just to completely destroy that and in order to give him mukti the actual role of the sadhu is that what in the transcendental world that to give the news of the transcendental world that whatever kind of uh, transcendental news in the of the transcendental world that in uh, to give them to the jivas but if some uh, mara they will hear that then definitely they will get the top most mangal in their life that will give the top most mangal in their life why satsang is very important for us that why this satsang is important for us prabhupad always used to speak the prabhupad in bengali he used to speak this your hearing organ ears just to uh, uh, manifest it in a right direction where we can get the transcendental uh, word we can get the opportunity to hear the transcendental wo- word from the mouth of a transcendental sadguru otherwise opposite will happen lot of devotees used to speak to the propad that you are speaking you don't go here don't go there so where we should go you tell us everywhere is uh, prohibited for us to go here there so where we should go you tell me that for hearing that propad used to speak that minimum where there is naam aparadh that kirtan is not at all done at all there you can go minimum where there is no naam aparadh that kirtan is not done at least you can go there okay that is okay but where actually there is naam aparadh that opposite will happen that opposite will happen no so that's why in the shastras that vichar is there that on on to the correct pathway that to hear the transcendental world that you have to go to the right pathway otherwise nothing can be done in that and santo eva chindanti manobya sangam utti ki jitna sare that whatever kind of durvasan or bad sanskar or bad sanskar or sinful activities उक्ति मीन्स उक्ति भी मीन्स दैट प्रवचनादि भी 
उक्ति भी मीन्स दैट प्रवचनादि भी प्रवचन भी प्रवचनादि भी इन साइड दैट दैट कीर्तन इज ऑल्सो देयर एंड दैट मंत्र उपदेश इंस्ट्रक्शन रिगार्डिंग मंत्र इज ऑल्सो देयर वाई बिकॉज जस्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस संसार दैट कृष्ण मंत्र और महामंत्र जस्ट टू गेट कृष्ण प्रेमा ऑल दीज इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड प्रवचनादि भी द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज दैट प्रवचनादि मीन्स दैट ऑल दिस आर इंक्लूडेड इन दैट जस्ट टू डू कृष्ण सेवा जस्ट टू स्टे इन फ्रंट ऑफ द साधुज प्योर गुरु वैष्णव एंड जस्ट टू टेक देयर आचरण एट के सी इन टोटो दैट द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ साधु दैट ऑल द टाइम विद स्टिक इन हिज हैंड हिज स्टैंडिंग and i want to speak more in context that he is just taking one sharp razor in his hand yes he is taking that in his hand the prabhu is speaking that the sadhu means that he is taking one razor sharp blade in his hand he is taking a razor sharp blade yes he is taking that in his hand by which in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran in 11th canto it is written i have already discussed it before as well i have already discussed it before in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran previously i have discussed this point also in that it is written there that whatever kind of vyasan you just need to cut that and you will get uh, free from that the actual meaning of sadhu is just to take a razor sharp a razor sharp blade in his hand just to cut all your previous sinful sanskar and whatever kind of uh, bad association or sanskar what you have it will just going to destroy by sadhu only that uh, that devjani that to devjani your uh, jajati it is just given uh, give us giving example of a story of a chag and chagi very interesting story devjani could not understand pre first but after that she can understand are she is he speaking to me only that it is our life only just by that example he could she could understand jajati after that when he is just getting too much nirved at last when jan jajati just got totally frustrated from all these things then what he has done he is just speaking one story of a chag and chagi evam guru prasamaik bhaktya vidya kutharen siten dhiro vidrishya jeeva swayamayam apramakto kya hai what is that that shlok is in 11th canto in that it is written that is also written the same that just with razor sharp blade in order to cut that he guru vishnu are just standing by that a uh, transcendental words whatever kind of durvasana and whatever kind of material bondage everything sadguru will just cut that away and he will just in order to just put him on to the platform of vaikunth platform whatever kind of uh, uh, efforts he will put but all others will be thinking them as their enemy <coughs> they are thinking them as their enemy what to do one sadhu he is not at all doing any oiling of uh, anyone the prabhupad is speaking the prabhupad is speaking that the one sadhu is not at all doing any oiling of anyone a sadhu will not at all do any oiling of anyone at all if some guru is there just be careful on this point your attention please on this point if sadhu if guru if he is doing oiling then uh, he is doing oiling then it will definitely cause a mangal that he is my biggest enemy he is not at all guru dev definitely he is not at all guru dev he can't be guru the role of guru is something else in in vaishnavas that any how that kind of a satsang this kind of pravritti is not at all there in them at all they don't want to do association of bad association at all so if you can see that pure guru vaishnav they are in a satsang 
that they don't think uh, opposite in this way don't think uh, uh, negatively it means that all those asat sangi gurudev and prasad guru is there in between them then definitely for those people they they will in order to just change them you understand the point all if externally you can see that all material people in between them he is there so what is the actual work of sadguru is not to do the, their association but in return that they are giving their association to them that if they to they give this association that is not at all uh, material song they are not at all in association with material people at all that just to do their association they are not at all there but in order to give them their association pure association to all those materially bonded people they are there they all are there in between them like gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj you can see that externally all material people are there all around nobody is doing bhajan at all all rubbish people and they are on all, all four directions those rubbish people were there but baba don't want to speak anything about them they he don't want to throw them away hey, you go away not like that he is speaking and in return he is not at all accepting them as well that they are mine they have not at all accepted them so whatever be the case now siddhi kiska hoga siddhi who will get the actual uh, fixed point that those who are pure guru vishnu they are doing their association it means that who are following shrot pantha in toto they are that is actual siddhi that is actually called siddhi they will get that actual siddhi in their life that those who are not in shrot pantha they are just doing mixed sang khichdi sang khichdi you know mixed everything from here there everywhere mixing so this kind of association mixing sang is then for them nothing will be done at all that your own according to your own parampara that according to your own shrot parampara that top most attraction if you are feeling it should be there it it it, it is there for a, a pure sadhu it is there that in shrot pantha that those who are actually established in shrot pantha then only they can only get uh, top most siddhi otherwise others can't take that at all by arguments and logics they will definitely get disadvantage no advantage they will get at all you can see that shila rup ko swami pad that digvijay pandit has came and he is speaking that you give me the certificate you can just uh, write that uh, uh, loser uh, letter to me that you already lost to shila rup goswami was speaking that why i should go into all these rubbish things my time will go away okay okay you take you take the certificate you won but shila jeev goswami pad hasn't uh, jeev goswami pad has just uh, uh, got victory over him why because this is the actual work of a sadhu by logics and arguments no kind of pratishtha can come no position can come by logics and arguments that shrot path what is being followed by our gurudev they are all the time uh, nitya pratishtit in that this is not a new pathway so all the time those persons who are 24 hours busy in hari katha and kirtan they are busy in that so they can get the actual siddhi in their life there is no barrier for them at all nobody can stop them at all definitely they will get siddhi in their life in this if you can see that all nitya siddh parshad like the prabhupad bhakti no thakur they are actually have, having different point but sadhan siddhi is also there then for them also this uh, case their case will be considered in that prabhupad bhakti no thakur they are actually nitya parshad they are already there the shlok which i have started with it's a very important shlok of, of prahlad maharaj speaking here in the shloka This is all one the same to do the seva of Guru Vaishnava. That's it. Here, Prahlad Maharaj speaking that O Bhagwan, that one after another and from another one after another infinite material association by that. that kind of flow of material association this whole material world that kind of all foolish people who are there in this materially bonded condition for them just to 
just to do anusaran of them i am just like that kind of razor sharp blade that i am just fell, fall down in that blind well that is so true this point you see up till what point that prahlad maharaj speaking this point you see so much true this point is that in this material world you see that one boy has just taken birth and after taking birth what happened he saw that he my father is doctor or whether he is a judge or my mother is this and my grandfather is some very big darshanik he was a very big darshanik he it's like that so but for each and every one in this uh, in their family whether they are father grandfather grand grandfathers there is only one point that that whatever kind of uh, material enjoyments are there if you will attain then you will get more and more success that much successful you will become this is their conception they don't have any other conception just to eat sleep and drink the whatever you can do just enjoy your life with your sense organs if the boy is in uk or in america then whatever he is doing that mother is getting lot of anand but if the uh, boy is taking sanyas oh my god she started crying oh la boy has gone you see what you, your actual thing has gone you tell me that boy is in america and he is doing all kind of rubbish activities he is characterless but still it is good but if the boy actually taking sanyas oh my boy my whole family is getting destroyed you see this is the conception foolish conception it means that in this material world grandfather father grandmother whosoever they are all going on one pathway that after birth after taking birth this is your actual target that is the only target that all the time you just have to speak all rubbish talkings what is good what is bad how to enjoy this and how to enjoy this so this new birth has taken that boy and this thing will be transferred into him as well by chain wise like hiranyakashipu's uh, family he pralad maharaj got birth just by the grip of naraji maharaj he is becoming nitya siddha pralad maharaj is there sadhan siddha pralad maharaj is different so this also has got the kripa taken the kripa of naraji maharaj and just uh, get out of this material bondage so normal people of this material world they can just uh, be just uh, uh, making auspiciousness for normal people material people only they will respect material people only you can see in this material world nobody wants to become sadhu if you can make this vichar that how sir actually doing the anusaran of sadhu almost nil nobody is there who are doing the anusaran of asadu so pralad maharaj is speaking that o oh bhagwan that after one after another one after another for infinity period that i am actually just all material association by that flow i am just doing the association of material people he is doing i am also doing i will also do that they are all moving towards hell if someone actually all going to hell i will also go to hell the prabhupa speaking it's good what is the actual disadvantage are 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 he is actually all alone why to go there so this is actual conception sadharan aadmi normal people according they are actually doing the anusaran of material world that whatever kind of uh, that they are actually moving towards that blind well having a razor sharp blade in that so what who can protect them that your own sevak that your own parshad narad ji muni just by doing kripa that uh, he is actually just uh, taken me as his disciple your own uh, disciple and your servant narad ji maharaj has accepted me as his disciple and i am his and he is my gurudev and just by his association by his effect that kind of topmost divya sthiti situation i am getting in my life that kind of transcendental uh, pathway i have got from shri narad ji maharaj and he has given me that pathway and in that my first duty is to serve pure guru vaishnav to be the servant of pure guru vaishnav and this pure guru vaishnav their seva just by rejecting that by rejecting the seva of pure guru vaishnav seva is there any other pathway only to accept the seva of pure guru vaishnav that is the only pathway that's why shri raghunath das goswami pad speaking samantre that from where you will get the mantra from gurudev only you will get the mantra prajana bajuvadand sarane 
सदादम्यम हित्वा कुरुरतिम पूर्वम मतितर पय शांतर भातोष्टिविरो बिजाचे दित पदो काल हमने बताया था यस्टरडे आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड that bhagwan shri krishna's instruction to uddhav that o uddhav aranir adyo ante bhavashi uttarani tat pravachanam sanyanam vidya sandhi sukhav bhagwan keh rahe the bhagwan speaking to uddhav that you see that i have already told you previously as well that uh, one dry wood that fire potency of fire is there it's already hidden in that dry wood like in milk that potency of uh, butter is there but in water you can't find that potency of uh, butter at all that whosoever that potency is there inside them from there that actual object can come out cause and effect that scientific research in that that both terms are very important cause and effect that on the basis of that all kind of uh, theories are actually going on cause and effect are how it is happened the what is the actual reason behind that it is because of this it has happened that like jen jenu guri and madam curie of england two uh, husband wife scientists were there very very poor they were in england the two scientists that one dampati one jen jenu guri and madam curie two scientists were there that both of them has researched and uh, about radioactive element they have researched they are speaking that we are poor we don't have money that from uh, taken one pitch blend from some company some waste product they have taken from a pitch blend from that company one production of pitch blend was there in some company so side by side some uh, some company some chemical company has some waste product called pitch blend that is pitch blend and this pitch blend they have taken that just by burning that from inside that uranium they have got extra- extracted uranium from that that just i'll be just touching this kind of prasang so just by taking extracted uranium from that that inside that drawer of the table is there they have just put that inside that and from there they have they have just very new film they have brought in that nothing was there all black film is there and like like black film you have seen no that you for by you taking that photograph photography whatever like bones and everything of x ray photographs you are taking that by taking this new film that same lab and same drawer they have just put and morning when they got up they saw uh, what happened that how this kind of uh, white uh, lining and spots are coming in that how it is coming they were surprised to see that they can't understand that at all next day what they have done again they have taken a new film and they have put that in that uranium drawer where the uranium was kept and again next morning they saw that <coughs> some kind of white lining or white spot all four directions there is white spots and after that they can get the answer that maybe this uranium what we have put inside the drawer that just that is radioactive element definitely it is radioactive that we just need to understand it just by researching it more definitely they got to a conclusion that there is this is radioactive and after that x ray etc whatever bones photograph they were getting it's because of that so cause and effect is all actually connected with each other that dry wood that fire is there from where that fire has come you tell me that from sun god what you have got that uh, ignition that kind of storage potency is there but without any kind of association with sun or without any getting association that fire can't come at all in that dry wood it that is the actual point which you need to understand that in petrol in petrol whatever like i'll give you example forest fire is there dawagni forest fire that dry woods two dry woods two dry trees just by getting friction that what will happen they are getting fire out of that some spark of fire is getting with them after that that uh, forest fire is getting spread it in the same way that jeev inside jeevas that potency is there because jeevas but uh, bhakti is not at all directly there 
bhakti can't be there it potency is there just in order to take bhakti we have to go towards pure guru vishnuv the association of pure guru vishnuv is very important that to get the kripa of pure guru vishnuv without that without taking the kripa of pure guru vishnuv there is no we can't get bhakti at all we can't get bhakti at all that by getting the association of guru vishnuv is very much important in this case because apart from that nothing will happen at all now the actual point is that that pure guru vishnuv without their association that i have already told you previously and i've already told you that day as well krishna bhaktir janma mul hoy sadhu krishna bhaktir janma mul hoy sadhu krishna bhakti ka that in krishna bhakti just in order to take birth that krishna bhakti inside your heart that sadhu sang is very important janane seva mukha in order to manifest krishna prem inside your heart just to manif- get the manifestation of krishna prema in order to get ahead that is the actual fundamental process that means that in order to get bhakti that is the actual process you just need to see that association of sadhu is very important but after getting that bhakti that slowly steadily by doing bhajan and you are getting prema that is also called the actual that same krishna prem that association of sadhu is very much important and essential it means that from uh, starting from till the end it means that from starting of your bhakti till the end that nothing only sadhu sang is there that association of a sadhu is very important so bhagwan shri krishna what he is speaking to uddhav ji maharaj very nice example he is giving it means that two wooden pieces are there that two dry wooden pieces are there i have two dry wood pieces they totally dry and i am actually just rubbing them and one friction is created in between them slowly steadily by getting friction that kind of spark of fire is coming out of that swelling what you speak that swelling or spark of fire and that kind of uh, spark will go ahead it will in suitable environment that inflammable object it will come in contact with that it will join with that and will produce a very big fire out of that you understand the point like one spark actually is getting ignited just by one one spark getting ignited there is some some kind of uh, arrangement is also there of that fire and uh, in the in the form of spark also it is taking a very big and dangerous form of fire big fire so like this case all the bonded jeevas under the association of pure guru vishnuv and by their kripa if they got the actual kripa that in the pathway of bhakti they their actual bhakti get started and after that in the end that he is becoming a topmost devotee You, are, you that is done no those who are actually sadhan sid so it's like that so in this definitely it gonna happen at definitely if you are going uh, you doing sadhu sang with the right purpose that's why i have already told you that sadhu sang will not get uh, uh, spoiled at all if you have done sadhu sang it will not get uh, spoiled at all very rare this sadhu sang is there i have already told you previously very very rare this sadhu sang is and after that it is written here that it is very difficult to find durlabha means very rare to get and iska baad likha after that it is written what is what is written there amag means that infallible that infallible that definitely it gonna happen Durlabho Amogosya 
If you taking the two dry woods, pieces of dry woods, just by uh, rubbing them, that Bhagwan giving his example to Uddhav Ji Maharaj. That first, that wooden first wooden piece is there. That is Guru Dev, and the second wooden piece is is that disciple. It is actually compared with disciple, and both of them that friction is created, and what kind of friction it is by pravachan, by speaking hari katha, by discussing hari katha, that kind of friction is created by getting pravachan. After that, what will happen? That that the vigyan transcendental. Transcendental knowledge, the Vigyan is getting. You know the Kirtan, no? You know this Kirtan? That transcendental knowledge is getting manifested inside the heart. Automatically it will be done. And normal uh, uh, market guru, if you'll go, nothing will happen at all. Nothing will happen at all. That to a normal uh, guru, if you'll go, then nothing will happen. And when you will go to Guru, that submission is very much important. That whatever you have, that everything you have to take onto the lotus feet of Guru Dev, all by body, speech, and mind, you just need to surrender onto the lotus feet of Guru Dev. And it's very difficult to speak. Is very easy, but to practically apply it is very difficult. So that's why it is spo- spoken here. That in order to go this go to Guru Dev, are I, I, like this only he has gone to Guru Dev. Let's go to that Guru Dev. The lakhs of people are taking initiation from him. So definitely we will take initiation from him. He don't know what is the actual definition of Guru. What is the facility of Guru there. He don't know about Guru Tattva. So that's why infinity people are all dying. That's it. Whole infinity people, they are doing a, a suicide. What to do? That uh, in the life of those people, in the life of those people, that self-inquiry is not at all uh, manifested now. That they will go to Gurudev, what is the use of that? There, they need glamour position, name, fame. Are I am Vaishnav, big Vaishnav I am. That I have already heard this point. In the market, they are taking uh, Tilak Mala, everything and go speaking that. Go, Sainji, you take this. <laughs> so like this, uh, very nice uh, respect they are getting of Goswami. Oh, Goswami, you take this. Well, Tilak Mala is actually going. So, in this material world, that position, glamour, wherever you will go, that uh, definitely this uh, glamour, that respect they want. That's it. The people are get respecting them. But self-inquiry is not at all there. That he don't know. There is no demand of self-inquiry. If no demand is there, then what can be the supply? Where there is no demand, then how supply can be there? It is all useless. He will just stay stagnant. Raghunath Das Goswami that about Shri Duk Guru Diksha and Sikha Guru and Diksha Guru he is just speaking about them and whatever kind of infighting is there that I have to do I don't need Diksha Guru at all that with Sikha Guru everything will be done that with Mahamantra I have done everything will be done with Mahamantra it's not like that that about this I have already told you previously as well Shreya Uttamam That in the material world That two things are there And the Prabhupada always used to speak Shreya and Preya Shreya means That with Atma That orient, orientation Whatever kind of uh, disadvantage or amangal is there And with body and mind That whatever kind of relationship Related uh, vishay That what you like That I like This and that so This is Preya Preo object in order to take, they are very very rare. In this whole material world, if you will just make a survey, that those who want to actually attain preo object, whatever in infinite people are there, you can make a survey and you can see that for each and every, uh, uh, they need preo. They don't need shreo at all. That if you will just make one kind of. Uh, index populate population index then it is so minimum that nobody wants uh, uh, shreya at all it will not at all come in the population index as well that with topmost jigyasa means that kind of craving that which is that topmost crave 
क्रेविंगनेस रिलेटेड टू आत्मा अबाउट दिस इन वेदांत इट इज़ रिटन अथातो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा एंड इन भागवत जी इट इज रिटन अथातो तत्व जिज्ञासा आत्मा जिज्ञासा इट्स ऑल द सेम दैट वॉट सनातन को स्वाई पद हैज टोल्ड टू महाप्रभु जी ही आस्ट This all kind of uh, it is all coming in the category of atma jigyasa, tattva jigyasa, atma jigyasa. This all is actually destructible world, and this body is made of blood and flesh, stool and urine is just one kind of sack of stool and urine. In that, just to uh, get association, to get enjoyment out of that, that is the actual cause of our bondage. That is just foolish persons are doing like this. The actual role, so that is the actual role of foolish people. Ramanti Muda, Ramanti Pandit, Ramanti Muda, Biramanti Pandit. Sabhava Durganti Binin Nidan, Kalevare Mutre Purish Bhavit, Ek Rakto Mansu. Just like stool and urine, that stool and urine, blood and flesh, one sack is there. Like there is one sack of potato, no? In the same way, urea, potato, that is the same. It is just a sack of blood and flesh. That's it, our body. And in those those who are actually getting association, that kind of enjoyment they are getting in this sack and blood, they are all uh, actually foolish. They are unintelligent people. That they got pisaji. They have become abnormal. What to do? भक्तिमय ठाकुर ऑल्सो राइटिंग गॉड ह्यूमन ह्यूमन बर्थ वॉट यू आर डूइंग इन दैट टेक बाय टेकिंग ह्यूमन बर्थ ऑल एनिमल एक्टिविटीज सो परीक्षित महाराज ऑल्सो दिस सेम क्वेश्चन इज देयर परीक्षित महाराज ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग द सेम क्वेश्चन आस्किंग सेम क्वेश्चन that same uh, question is actually asking in vedant also it is written that in the life of those that kind of destructible uh, uh, sansar this destructible material world they are actually getting nirbed getting totally uh, frustrated by this i have already seen this before and in our bhakti rajya that topmost nirved they are getting that actually is totally opposite for bhakti that is very much important to discuss here in our bhakti rajya if the prabhupad always used to speak that in that material world they are not at all getting a frustration frustration still they don't have attraction also for them bhakti you can get siddhi that just by taking too much food they can't get siddhi very less they are taking food than the then also he is spe- sleeping too much or maybe sleeping too much is not good or he is not at all sleeping at all that is also not at all good by that nothing will happen that's why the prabhupad used to speak this shloka that in the life of those they are not at all getting detested from this material world at the same they are not attracted by this material world okay everything is there whatever is there we will just use for the seva of bhagwan janak maharaj pralad maharaj brigu maharaj prithu maharaj ambrish maharaj all everything you just need to just put it in krishna seva that's it <coughs> अथातो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा मीन्स वॉट डज इट मीन दैट इज कॉल्ड अथात शब्द जिज्ञासा अथातो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा वॉट डू यू मीन बाय दैट इट मीन्स शब्द जिज्ञासा वाई बिकॉज यू कैन सी इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न हेयर देर इज ओनली वन थिंग नो दैट अथातो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा इज रिटर्न इन वेदांत एंड भागवत जी महापुरजन इट इज रिटर्न so this is there that shreya uttamam jigyasu shreya uttamam and in brahmakand there is another shloka 
another shloka is there in Brahma Kanda. There actually it is written. Very nice point it is written there. That just be careful on this point what I am speaking. That the point which I am speaking, this will you will think as revolting externally. Athato Brahma Ji Gyasa. What does it mean? I have already told it's Athato Sabda Ji Gyasa. You understand the point? So there what is written? Shabda Tattva. That is actually called Shabda Tattva. So whatever be the case, that is the actual meaning. And Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma, he is actually Nishnath. Raghunath Das Goswami was speaking that we are actually thinking it oppositely. That's why Bhaktivinoda Thakur always used to speak. Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to speak that oh, all of Mahadegan, Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to speak, oh Mahadegan, that why you are actually getting, don't get busy in taking Gurudev, shelter of Gurudev. Don't go here and there just by and your life you will just be destroying that. Don't do that at all. Bhaktivinoda Thakur actually speaking this that oh Mahadegan, don't go here and there very quickly. Unstable it you just get uh, in Bengal it is written. That oh Mahadegan, don't be too much uh, uh, do hurry by taking Gurudev. Just be stabilize yourself. That Gurudev is self manifested object. That in my life, I have already just tested that in my life. I have not gone to any Guru at all. Gurudev already manifested in front of me. Krishna speaking to me that he is actually Gurudev. So automatically, he told, but for that, that demand is required. That Tattva Jigyasa, Atma Jigyasa is required. Shabda Jigyasa is required. Otherwise, by taking Gurudev, what you will do? There is no value at all for that. <coughs> Bhakti Thakur used to speak that, O Mahadegan, that just to take Gurudev, don't get busy in that. Don't be in too hurry for that. That inside you, if you have that desire, that just that actually the responsibility of Krishna, that, that you will get Gurudev at all, definitely. But only this much is there, that no duplicity mood should be there inside your heart. Automatically, that Bhagwan Balram, Baldauji Maharaj will just... Uh, uh, manifest Gurudev in front of you. Don't uh, be in hurry from your side. That only demand is required. I don't need anything. Otherwise, I will die. I only need a Guru Vaishnav. Shila Jeev Goswami was also speaking that those who are actually just by taking Gurudev, you are giving the asan to some person, material person, that your life will go towards destruction definitely. How? What kind of Gurudev you required? That Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma that those who are Nishnat, they are all worst in that. That Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma, he is very much worst in all that. Top, topmost idea he is having. It means that Shabda Brahma, what does it mean? That the actual Shastra Vichar, he is already there inside that. And whatever kind of inquiries of the disciple, that on the basis of the answer given on the Shastra, he can just speak the actual answer to their disciple. Parecho means that more than that, that Shabda Brahma and Parabrahma, that in Bhagwan Seva, his, that whatever kind of, uh, um, he is very much experienced in the Krishna Seva, that how I have to satisfy Bhagwan senses, senses of Bhagwan, just to get the satisfactory Seva of Bhagwan, how to do that, that about that, he is very much experienced in that topmost idea he is having that is actually Sadguru otherwise what will happen that Deep Goswami was speaking that okay if some Guru he has taken shelter that he is Sadguru and he is doing bhajan everything and there is no uh, uh, emptiness is there but his Shastra Vichar is not that much up to the point then Srila Jeev Goswami was speaking in the commentary he is speaking 
that if Gurudev to his disciple, he is not at all giving answer of some question to his disciple, then then in that disciple can get some kind of uh, logics and uh, alteration can come inside the heart of a disciple. And in order to just uh, definitely in uh, upcoming days, definitely gonna drown him in the ocean of Maya. About that in Gita, it's already written. What actually written there? Are Gurudev actually has not at all given me answer. He don't know about this at all. You understand the point? About Prabhupada, I have already told you yesterday only that those who are Nitya Parshad, Prabhupada, Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj is the Guru of Prabhupada, or Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj is Guru Deva Prabhupada. <laughs> who is Guru of whom? Prabhupada is the Guru of Gurudev, of Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj, or Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj is his Guru. You tell me who is whose Guru. You just make this vichar. Loknath Goswami is the uh, Nurutam Das Thakur, all actually eternal Parshad of Bhagwan. So this is very very important in point is there which we need to understand. When you are becoming Nitya Parshad, when you are becoming Nitya Parshad, like the Prabhupada speak, he has to, taken shelter of Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj and Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj and whatever kind of relationship between them both of them, there is no kind of logics and alterations at all. No difference is there of logics and arguments and doubts and suspicion. That's why the Prabhupada is actually Nitya Parshat of, and he can has not at all taken any question uh, in front of Babaji Maharaj because he is actually eternal Parshat of Bhagwan. And Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, he is actually topmost uh, eligibility to speak about Shastra Vichar. That's why the Prabhupada speaking in front of us, that external people speaking, that your Gurudev, where he is staying? Eh? Where your Gurudev is staying? In which, uh, who's, which temple he is the Acharya? Very smartly the Prabhupada used to speak, give answer that uh, he is uh, who is a uh, very big Pandit he is in order to disrespect Gaur Kishore Das Baba Maharaj. These people used to speak to the Prabhupada and the Prabhupada used to speak them very, very smartly he used to denote signify him that where is your Gurudev they are asking the Prabhupada and the Prabhupada speaking you see that uh, the actual uh, Nitya place the transcendental place of my Gurudev is the lotus feet of uh, Sri Mati Radharani or Gaurang Mahaprabhu but still if you were making external vichar that externally he is staying nowadays at the bank of Ganga in Kulia this is the actual address of Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj and externally that there is no educational qualification with them at all but uh, in internal vichar the Prabhupada used to speak that uh, there is no kind of problem of this infinity material world that there is no kind of problem of this infinity material world that that my Paramahans Guru Padbandhu cannot solve externally he, this Paramahans Gurudev no co- educational qualification is there but internally that in this material world no kind of problem or puzzling situation is there that this Mahapurush cannot solve that exact solution is there with him that is all contradictory you can understand that all conflicting points are there Srila Jeev Goswami was also speaking that if the disciples lot of questions are there inside his heart and by Guru Kripa, all questions can get cleared off, then it is okay. Like sometimes I used to question Gurudev, and Gurudev will not at all answer at that time. He will not speak to me at all that time. Only used to smile and just not at all speaking. And after that, I understand that by the Kripa of Gurudev, everything getting solved. Automatically, it get in front of me. I got the answer of that problem. Automatically. So this is the actual kind of power that transcendental power is there inside Gurudev. You see, Sri Lajiv Goswami Pad is actually speaking in this context that Shabda Brahm and Parabrahm, that if you are not at all, not at all versed in that, it means that uh, with uh, Bhagavad Seva, that kind of uh, sense of uh, duty is not at all there. 
What do you mean by Diksha? Diksha is not that some dry mantra is given by Gurudev Ma'am and started chanting that. Not that. What do you mean by Diksha? When the disciple uh, Atma Samarpans, that uh, self surrender, when a disciple is doing onto lotus feet of Gurudev, that Gurudev will just give the direct uh, perception and direct feeling of the transcendental seva will just get transferred inside the heart of disciple. Automatically it will be done. That's why each and every diksha is not at all transcendental diksha. The Prabhupada used to speak this point. The Prabhupada used to speak this point. The Prabhupada used to speak that that the Vigyan transcendental knowledge, divine knowledge, if it is not at all getting manifested, then that is not at all diksha. That is not at all actual diksha. That uh, transcendental mantra and instructions by that, if in, if, if, in, if sometimes in the heart of someone that transcendental knowledge or divine knowledge is not at all getting inside his heart, it's not at all getting manifested, that divine knowledge, then, then nothing will happen at all. That is not at all Diksha at all. That's why the Prabhupada used to speak that Diksha, that procedure, that procedure of Diksha, that that Diksha's, that external, that arrangement and that actual arrangement of Siksha and there are so-called Diksha and actual Diksha, it's not all the same at all. It is totally different from each other. Srila Jeev Goswami Pad used to speak that what those who are actually established in Shabda Brahm and whatever kind of doubts and suspicious of the disciple on the basis of the Shastrik injunctions he can uh, manifest that and just kind of all Bhagavad Seva that sense of feeling he can transfer inside the heart of disciple then there is no problem he is actually called Sadguru that transcendental Bhagwan, he is actually transcendental in nature that Brahma means that is not at all uh, impersonal Brahma at all. It means that Parat Parakileshwar, that Parabrahma, Bhagwan, just to just to serve him slowly, steadily, that topmost Anand he will get inside his heart. Prasanna means that uh, Upasam means that remedy. Upasamashrayam means the remedy he'll give. That all kind of problems uh, solution is that medicine is there with that Sadhguru that on the lotus feet of uh, lotus feet of Krishna by his own bhav and seva mood how much he is getting uh, involved into that it means that so much uh, he is getting involved that no kind of jealousy mood is there at all inside him that is actually already rectified by Gurudev so that's the point so like this kind of Gurudev we just need to take shelter that is very much important. That kind of Gurudev and especially Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, that is in Manasiksha. He, that Gurudev, that is not at all normal Guru, that kind of Raganuga Gurudev in front of him. Why? Because I have already told you that there is one indication in this shloka. It means that uh, this Raganuga, that our Gaudiya Mut, that Paddhati is there by that step only inside that that topmost hidden secret point is there that Raghunath Das Goswami is speaking and he is explaining that that yesterday also I have just spoken the second sloka that who is actually Gurudev and who is actually cheater or fraudster I have already just given you the comparison and difference between them Vipasindu means that is the actual ocean of mercy. The Prabhupada used to speak that those that my own sense sensual gratification that he is keep imbibing me and accelerating me and he is supporting me for sensual gratification for sensual enjoyment he is accelerating me. He is not at all Gurudev at all. He is not at all Gurudev. He is my topmost enemy. He is my topmost enemy. Someone, they will be just giving inspiration of material things. Some disciple in order to just uh, uh, 
that kind of flattering uh, to my disciple i am doing just by taking his feet on his head and chest just propa speaking this deep propa speaking this point in bengali it is there shishir golami kochi besha ke manto dichi besha ko manto de to prostitute is giving mantra and he is just uh, doing the servantship of his own disciple so this all actually is going on in the market and mantra diksha mantra grahan all actually is going on like that and nobody actually wants to understand it at all why because that the demand is not there so how this supply can come so who is that kripa sindhu that who is all the time that jeevas they want that absolute mangal of the jeevas all kind of efforts is putting for that about that the prabhupad used to speak regarding this that we are actually of this kodiya math that all the people of kodiya math just for the actual set uh, getting the uh, getting the advantage of this material bondage world they are giving gallons of blood for them but still persons materially bonded people maybe they are taking it or not who knows about that jeevas they have that independent mood no that the jeevas are having that liberty they have that free will inside them but in that this kind of bonded condition of this material world that uh, we are giving gallons and gallons of blood we are actually ready to give that for the actual uh, preaching of gode siddhant but still no guarantee is there that they will accept it that on the pathway of that topmost mangal they will go or not or whether i have seen this like that they have gone on to the pathway of actual mangal again just by taking doing aparad they have just left propa and kicked propa the way you see Oof. this also can be done what to do kripa sindhu means that material world they are actually showing all material people are showing kripa like the same person all the market persons that kind of mercy they are showing that so called institution or some kind of excavation myvision that kind of uh, material uh, karuna they are actually showing in that there is no kind of kripa at all at all that externally there is kripa is there inside them but internally there is no word called kripa inside them at all no kripa is there inside them that i can definitely can uh, prove that in front of you that's why that our swarup goswami actually speaking to mahaprabhu that just by your kripa is just like that your kripa just by your kripa that among the uday that topmost amangal cannot get sprouted at all that your actual topmost mercy that your mercy inside that that amangal that kind of question cannot come at all that material uh, world that kind of absolute mangal someone actually opening hospital someone giving medicine <coughs> whatever they are doing that food for life they are actually opening just all eating and uh, drinking all kind of just for handicap they have done this that whatever kind of seva they have done material seva material material duty not seva but the actual mangal if you want to think then inside that definitely it is not at all there in them at all that actual mangal topmost mangal they don't have that inside them at all <coughs> shri chet shila swarup go swami speaking this point that your inside your mercy there is no amangal at all that whatever kind of infinity material people you can uh, find whatever kind of uh, mangal they want whether wherever you go whatever place you go in all places their free education uh, actually for pe- people some mid day meal of the pe- small boy children are there everything you can see from all four directions but inside that that actual topmost mangal that kind of prasang is not at all there at all there is not at all there at all mangalam bhagwan vishnu mangalam bhagwan mangalam bhagwan mangalam madhusudan mangal ka that mangal it means mangal 
mangal that word when you are speaking then definitely you understand it is actually related to vishnu that that gauranga it is related to gauranga or vishnu and uh, other uh, other pl- other side you cannot use this word towards kali durga shiv no nowhere else you can use that uh, only and only topmost mangal can be done by krishna ha ah, maybe the other demigods can give me uh, kripa in gradual time i can get but the actual mangal that only krishna can give that apart from bhagwan nobody can give me the actual pathway of mangal at all no prasang is there at all no question of uh, among, no question of mangal can come that they have just opened one hospital and they have just operated one uh, uh, patient okay and the patient just got uh, uh, well and he just get out of the hospital it doesn't mean that again he will not at all get disease at all definitely he will be getting diseased again it means that he, that disease and medicine he don't require at all in the future definitely uh, again he needs uh, medicine in the future and any time any kind of disease can again attack his body so someone you have actually giving some kind of uh, food you are actually giving to someone so by what that that you are giving food, bread roti and just by giving something definitely it doesn't mean that uh, whole life he will be not feeling hungry at all <laughs> definitely that won't stay in his stomach no again he will be feeling hungry he will be feeling thirsty so you are actually putting some kind of ration to someone each and every person he will get that ration half kg rice one kg wheat every people will take in the week and one kg rice whatever you can give so how you will get how will you take? just by taking whole whole life you have week and month you just take on it's all actually drama just two to three days one kind of drama it is going on that's it this is not at all actual mercy at all anywhere you can go you can see this free education are what free education you give but in this education that bhagwan is not there that no prasang of bhagwan is there that why i want to study that that from uh, childhood this kind of all foolish people they are actually giving us this education why we will be just reading about the character of those foolish people in history that some uh, king was there this that what are uh, what is their actual duty this is their actual duty that this is his actual uh, child like this progeny what what connection i and what use i will get that education minister you just ask him that what is the actual no backbone is there of anyone nobody is having backbone someone can ask them that in history it is written that this mughal emperor all this after this what how, what is the, uh, how our character what is the outcome how our character can increase what is the outcome you tell me why you have just given set up this syllabus like this you tell me how you have set up this syllabus like that so that we just like become dogs dogs and cats wild animals we are becoming that's it it is all pre-planned all conspiracy it is that uh, so that our consciousness should not grow that's why in math mandir also this same condition is there just uh, don't uh, get uh, uh, angry with me so that nobody can get uh, topmost consciousness if it will go that you can stay here and sleep drink and eat that is okay but in math if someone consciousness they are actually getting increasing elevated then they will not allow that are don't hear his hari katha at all you just th- speak of uh, you just hear me only so that nobody wants actually the elevation of consciousness whether he is hitler whether he is napoleon whosoever he is nobody wants the elevation of consciousness only and only that sadguru topmost that is the topmost merciful sadguru because vaishnav is actually merciful nobody is sadguru apart from vishnu that guru word this in order to use somewhere it is strictly prohibited to use this word that you are actually just getting encircled in all this in the same education all actually are getting uh, into this you are just giving a so big person is just by giving free education just making them dogs and cats that's it param puja pad keshav gosma always used to do pratibhad about uh, the killing of cows about education what education you are doing
<coughs> by that education there is no prasang of bhagwan no question of bhagwan that what kind of it's just like dogs and cats like education is like parlad maharaj hiranyakeshu has arranged his that for parlad maharaj hiranyakeshu has just arranged just so that he can become wild cat dogs and cats hai he just can learn economics all rajniti social arrangements so it actually krip of bhagwan that he has got the association of narad ji and just getting out of all this so we need sadguru that's it we don't need drama at all and in in on the lotus feet of gurudev before taking that inside us that duplicity mood should not be there at all that we need it or not that should be confirmed that is very much important if it is not at all there then it is very difficult very very difficult I'll give you I just uh, remember one example in Midnapur I have already heard it from Guru Varg in Midnapur that Gaudiya Math was actually established by Maharaj ji that previously one kind of uh, ghostly palace of uh, that is the place of ghost that time in Midnapur that same Sant Parampuji Basant Goswami Maharaj etc all Madhav Goswami Maharaj has just uh, getting uh, that math 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 developed there and Hari Katha was also done there by me in midnapur mat and and that place in that mat one very nice uh, maybe 1820 years one very nice boy was there he didn't got any kind of job and always used to come there in the morning he used to sweep the temple and <coughs> by that shila madhav goswami maharaj in krishnanagar also my gurudev has just established shri radha gopinath there i have already seen one very educated boy used to come that just by his tuition he used to go and in the morning he used to come and he used to sweep whole temple and that not above he don't have adhikar to strictly prohibited to go up in the temple that whatever not them and they all washing he used to do the floor i have already saw that physically practically i have saw, seen that every day he used to come whether it's raining whether it's summer whether it's winter whatsoever time that same midnapur that same boy used to come like that and he didn't got any job and a lot of people are there in my that uh, those who have that uh, top most qualification but they are uh, <coughs> they haven't got any kind of job at all in their life i have already have some persons with me so this boy who is coming to the mat that his own uh, Uh, chacha speaking that you haven't got any job so you do one thing by tuition up till what point you will go you don't got any sufficient money and your father is not at all there and mother is actually widow and nobody is there in the house so you do one thing i'll giving you some money and you with that money you just start one business of betel nut you know betel nut pan you can do the business of betel nut then you have some kind of uh, <clears throat> land is also there for you and with that money he started the business of uh, betel nut and after that before that that uh, he used to do the seva of uh, that uh, mandir nat mandir a uh, mat in the mat he used to do seva and whatever kind of uh, he used to do seva before always used to clean uh, he has got the kurvesh no kripa and because of that his business just got uh, formed and after successful businessman he is becoming that money is coming to him then mother speaking that up till what point i'll go i am also becoming old you do one thing you do get, just got get married i don't want to stay like that you just get married so that i am actually becoming old that uh, that uh, forcefully he's just got married and when his business got formed then uh, he just to come into the mat is becoming very less maybe coming like uh, once a week like previously that m- morning and evening he used to come and in the evening he used to hear hari katha and this morning he used to clean the and uh, now what happened that morning time he is not at all coming and he is coming in the evening time sometimes sleep uh, hearing hari katha and after getting married and after getting married that coming to the m- temple just once a week he is coming there to the temple and with maharaj he is if you used to get uh, uh, he is speaking to maharaj and maharaj speaking why you not coming to temple then he is speaking then after that child got uh, 
birth and after that more and more time is going getting away that full and full time maya devi has taken it from him and he has just taken that for this there is no time for pure guru vaishnav at all and now in front of uh, this material samaj that this uh, chacha ji what is giving so much thousands of rupees he has given for businessman is it really a mercy that topmost mercy he has given to him that there is no doubt about it that they have given him the topmost uh, mercy on to that boy you have given him mercy no but that kind of mercy what do you mean that is material mercy it means that he is getting away from bhagwan you understand the point so chacha ji that kind of uh, and or grandfather by his kripa that we don't we will not get anything from that at all that ma- that tau ji grandmother grandfather chacha ji all this <laughs> we will not get anything by their kripa we will not get at all anything in at last only material bondage will get that's it but if that some eternal portion of gorang mahaprabhu is there i have already given you one example you can understand that by one example by that only you can understand that topmost parupkar is there with him but that only chaitanya mahaprabhu one devotee of chaitanya mahaprabhu if he is getting his kripa then by that kripa if no apradh is there inside if no apradh is there inside him if apradh is done then then definitely some kind of problem can come definitely it will come that topmost mangal they can get in their life otherwise in other things and other kind of uh, that absolute mangal there is no support at all you can get there is no absolute mangal you can get in your life at all to kripa sindhu first is kripa sindhu that it is the ocean of kripa that about kripa also by the kripa of bhagwan i have just uh, giving you the actual ma- manifestation of this uh, word kripa but we are actually so much we are actually so much unstable that so much unstable we are that so much less intelligence we are having that we can't understand it at all so kripa sindhu su sampurna it means that it is not at all complete that which gurudev i will just take shelter and surrender which gurudev i have to take uh, shelter that su sampurna who is complete that kind of guru dev not that oh you just give me this give me this not this kind of guru give me money not this kind of guru is cheater that's why our shankar bhagwan is speaking to parvati ji she he is speaking to parvati ji what he is speaking he is speaking guru bo bahu bo shanti shishyo vidya bhara kaha guru bo bahu bo shanti shishyo vidya bhara kaha दुर्लभ गुरु देवी शिष्य संताप हार देवी वो देवी दैट इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड लॉट ऑफ गुरु यू कैन फाइंड इट इज ऑफ नो यूज दैट दोस गुरु सम आर स्पीकिंग दिस सम इज द स्पीकिंग दैट दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट मिसलीडिंग यू ऑन द रॉन्ग पाथवे दे जस्ट नीड मनी दैट्स इट अरे इफ दैट डिसाइपल इज गोइंग टू डाई लेट हिम डाई सो दिस इज द केस Shankar Bhagwan also speaking that Devi in this material world there is a lot of gurus like this. That who is actually just uh, destroying his disciple by asking money, and even he, the uh, woman, uh, the wife of the disciple also they are actually taking away so much bad character, characterless guru. Shankar Bhagwan is speaking to Parvati Devi that Devi Maya she is he is speaking. that that kind of guru is very rare in this material world that kind of guru is very very rare that who is actually that what kind of jealousy and ignition of fire inside his heart is just putting it off that the actual pathway to the transcendental world is opening he is actually showing him that pathway of the transcendental world he is actually saving him from the trap of maya that is actually guru that not that kind of guru that you are he who is taking just money that's it who is looting money of others this is not santap this is santap this is more than ignition it is ignition but it is santap this is no ordinary ignition and san, santa santap means 
that inside the heart of disciple whatever kind of uh, jealousy or ignition or whatever vyasan it is com- that guru dev is completely destroying it and is just uh, making him so much pure that because in the shastras it is written regarding this before this it is written what it's written everything is ashant it's very not peaceful from where you will get peace in Gita also Bhagavan speaking that for unpeaceful people how you can get that topmost peace in front of that unpeaceful man he is going on to the opposite pathway that's why it is actually spoken here in Sri Chaitanya Chiritamrit that on to the pathway of bhukti and enjoyment that mukti on the pathway of in- mukti that, that siddhi kami that I need this I need that so all that I need siddhi this is also one kind of anarth this is also one kind of anarth so any any person some friend of any person for a lot of time he is actually going where we don't know he has just gone somewhere else and with some Guru Dev, he is actually just, uh, he is getting some Yog Siddhi with some Guru in order to just walk over the water. And he just came back to his friend after a long time. And he just met his friend, oh my friend where you have gone? He said that actually I was doing where topmost Sapasya in somewhere. And I have got Siddhi. Which Siddhi you got? His friend asking. That he, what kind of Siddhi you have got? You tell me. He said you just come with me, I will show you. Where you will show? Are you come? No, I will show you. His friend speaking. And he just going there at the bank of that river and there at that bank of river he is just started walking over the water and he is just going on to the opposite side and then from there actually he just came back again and his friends he is speaking to his friend that you see what kind of siddhi i have got you see what kind of siddhi i have got so from years after years i have done this and my friend speaking that is very strange that what kind of siddhi you have got just to go over water it is just like of a 50 paise, 10 paisa I can give or 25 paisa I can give and I can hire a boat and go there. Why I will just uh, burn my life uh, years after years to just go over water. That whatever kind of Siddhi you got, that it is just equivalent to 25 paisa, its value, its cost. It is just 25 paisa that I can go. How I will, uh, why I will do like that? It is actually really so. This is actually true. So this is the case what to do. Everyone wants Siddhi, Bhukti, Mukti, Siddhi. Everything, everyone wants this only. Everyone, all. That inside this, lot of uh, restlessness is there. Lot of restlessness is there. Why? Because what to do in that? That who has that kind of uh, attraction? that who has no attraction for that that he is becoming nishkam then he can't get krishna prema so what which guru is there who now also at present he is actually just running for money for millions and millions of rupees he is collecting and he is thinking that he is actually guru who is collecting money so nicely he is actually acting as a charya you see just eating others in the name of guru if you want that this guru and you are getting bhagwan by that that okay you can take what kind of uh, time you want that you can come to me i have already just uh, taken this kind of opinion on my side decision that they are not at all actually accepting the shastra praman whether they are actually english people or whosoever he is they are not at all accepting the ex- shastric praman injunctions at all is a hope we don't want at all like this they are doing that Oh, he has spoken this, he has spoken that, that's it. Okay, what I can do? If you want to die, let you die. You should go to hell, you should go to a burning uh, lamp, what I can do? You are not at all accepting the Shastrik injunctions. They are not at all uh, uh, accepting the Shastrik injunctions where Bhagwan himself speaking what to do and what not to do. Arjun asking Bhagwan that what to do and what not to do. Then Bhagwan speaking to Arjun that you see what to do and what not to do. Every vichar is there in the Shastra.
what to do what not to do everything is there written in the shastrik injunction and they are not at all accepting the shastras they are not at all uh, believing in shastras at all and tilak mal everything is there externally very uh, yellow yellow cloth red cloth everything is there but they are not at all accepting shastrik injunctions so what to do in that whatever kind of proof you are giving they will not at all accept that at all they will just uh, find faults in us and they will be just using foul words for us we actually for those foolish people i won't be uh, just uh, losing and wasting my time for those foolish people i don't want to waste my time for them but one actually watching everything i will be publishing it regularly if uh, whose luck is good he can just understand it who can go there and just talk to those foolish that that anarth you can categorize that lot of categorization of anarth is there different different types of anarth is categorized and divided but guru inside gurudev if anarth is there that which kind of anarth is there what yours what kind of guru is there that who has anarth is topmost inside him he is guru not at all and that you are actually thinking that he is guru that what kind of mangal you can get in that you tell me what kind of mangal you can get in that here in bhagavat also prabhupad the prabhupad always used to speak from bhagavat in his pravachan he used to speak uh, regarding this shloka sajjano na sasyat pitana sasyat sajjanani na sasyat daivan na tatsyat na patim na sasyat namo ched jo samapetam that those who are actually can protect me from inevitable death means that kind of fear of death that is nothing at all nothing this word is there but that's why those who are not at all uh, protecting me from death they are not at all any, anything for me that that guru is not guru that who cannot protect me from this uh, fear of death that who cannot protect me from this fear of death you just be careful on this wherever you go that friend i don't want at all that friend the actual definition of friend nobody knows that in our sajjan toshini the prabhupad that time actually it was publishing in sajjan toshini that this word sajjan that analytically if we can do some vichar then we can find sat plus jan in vyakaran according to vyakaran sat plus jan it is divided into two sat means that which is transcendently present and bhagwan is actually transcendental and we have relation nitya relationship with bhagwan that is called sat that jan that person is there who actually having that relationship with bhagwan all the time that is sajjan otherwise other people don't have that word sajjan why because even millions and millions of people, they can do donation of millions of rupees even this kind of title they cannot get at all or sajjan that they doing name fame position they want but they can't get this word sajjan in their life at all because they are actually materially they cannot be sajjan at all sajjan is that person's name who is all the time connected with pure guru vishnu and is, who is doing bhajan of pure guru vishnu all the time that is sajjan toshini that that sajjans they are actually getting the actual nourishment in bhakti only so you see here krishna all everything are ashant here every everyone has that jealousy ignition and uh, restlessness inside them so that's why if they want to take gurudev then raghunath das goswami is that is the he is speaking about that absolute guru tattva that who has that previous sanskar that he can do raganuga guru he can take the shelter of him and he can get more and more rasa out of that in vidimar also guru is there there is not a big question but if you want rasa that top most anand in your life then purna means that inside him that some saturation point has come you have not understood what i am speaking that yagyaval ka ji also he had two boys have come from gurukul and yagyaval ka ji asking him that beta that what kind of instructions you have taken about brahmatat you have actually realized that brahmatat 
that the big uh, big boy speaking this question and big boy speaking very nice long lecture of brahm is like this brahm is like that lot of things he is speaking very big big lecture he is speaking but yagewal ji is speaking or just uh, shut up don't speak that big that the big son just got stopped and the small boy actually small son is asking what do you understand about brahmadat to yagewal is asking that the small boy on to his the lotus feet of his father he is watching and he is watching his eyes and he can't speak anything at all just by shame the full of shame shameful mood he is actually seeing down and again he can't speak and his uh, eyes become very much uh, bigger in size and he is actually seeing the lotus feet of his father and his eyes and yagyavalga understood that what is that brahm object it is beyond our explanation so he can't speak at all he is he is speaking that yes you understood that what is actually that brahm tatva that brahm is that tatva which in language you cannot speak at all that after that some what is that saturation in that that brahm that all all the four directions brahm vastu is there in each and every point that just by giving one example that one pot of water he is taking ya geval ka and just in that he is putting in that he is putting ram ras salt he is putting in that and just by mixing salt into water that he has just uh, put salt into water and yagyavalji is speaking that where the salt is that inside water it is just get dissolved the boy is speaking are it is dissolved yes by in our science in science it is speaking intermolecular spaces and we cannot see salt into the how we can understood that uh, water actually that inside water that salt is getting dissolved how it is possible that when you will be just putting it on the tongue then only you can just uh, taste it but you cannot see it so in the same way brahm vastu is actually getting explained that each and every place that in anu in very small object also that brahm vastu is there but bhagwan also has that transcendental swarup about that i will be we'll be discussing about that now about saturation point what is that that yagyaval gaji is actually speaking that you just dissolve the salt into water and just get dissolved in it so after that you are actually mixing more and more salt into it then what will happen nothing it will won't get uh, dissolved why it will just go down at the bottom because saturation point is over so in the same way the life of the persons that kind of enjoyment they are actually getting that saturation point they are not at all finding why were they are not at all finding how they can get the saturation point of their material enjoyment they are actually just cutting enjoyment with enjoyment that they actually want to get off the fire with fire how it is possible you tell me they actually don't want at all this that this kind of uh, uh, desire that that this kind of desire that fire actually is uh, igniting how to just put it off that about uh, this i have already told you before that pururava has told in bhagavatam that by kaam that if someone thinking that we can just cut kama by kama how it is possible it is not possible at all it will just go on increasing day by day fraction of second it will increase and saturation point won't come at all there is no possibility of saturation point to come at all may don't think at all that maybe today or tomorrow in old days that saturation point will come not at all in old age saturation point won't come at all in old age opposite is happening externally you have that uh, desire to do enjoyment but that capacity to enjoy that uh, enjoyment you cannot do but that more desire is there to enjoy that it is more and more bad uh, condition inside his heart he has that topmost uh, enjoyment enjoying mood inside his heart i have seen one paralytic patient in jalandhar that one place in punjab in jalandhar he was there i him i myself has just practically saw he heard lot of harikatha but himself he is speaking that maharaj i am paralytic patient if my body is stout and fine that i must have enjoyed a lot that i thought are he is a very big devotee i thought but after that i understood that he is inside his heart so much uh, fire is there of enjoyment oh my god he himself is speaking so much kama is there that i am paralytic patient maharaj 
if i was actually good by body that i must have enjoyed everything in my life by my senses oh my god and i actually i understood then that that you see that physically he is not at all dis- is disabled he can't he is not good but whether he is in the old age that by this you cannot prove that inside him no kama is there kamna vasna desire lusty desires definitely will be there inside externally you cannot see it on the body when he is actually doing some kind of external activity then only it is getting exposed in front of everyone if he do, or maybe that it is in the form of passive calm it can stay active calm is also there passive calm is also there so this is actual condition in the old age he is getting old but it doesn't mean that he that he don't have greediness for tongue for his enjoyment kana kancha name him pushing don't want to get he is getting old okay but still he don't have the capacity that it can increase more and more inside his heart from his uh, son in law it can from uh, it can increase more and more day by day there is no document that in old age it will get low not at all that's why pralad maharaj is also speaking that hari bhajan in old age is not at all possible hari bhajan is not at all possible in old age if you want to do hari bhajan that kaumar that when you, if you are getting childhood that when uh, the bo- child is actually getting consciousness at the same time immediately you have to start at the kaumar age that bhagavad dharm may be not in the old age it will come no oh now he want to do thing he can do no not like that it is st- it is uh, totally opposite prahlad maharaj speaking that when the child actually is getting consciousness he is getting chetna or maybe before consciousness also that mother father actually is uh, telling them about shlokas how to read how to recite the injunctions and how to do seva of bhagwan i have already saw one two child like this that in bathinda here there he is speaking that maharaj that he is this boy actually is just all the time imitating you how that is speaking bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur what told this boy is actually speaking like that <laughs> so like this it is very good so this is also good imitation he is doing that child is actually doing imitation just by hearing he is getting this kind of uh, mannerism inside him so on uh, uh, age nothing is there at all whatever kind of uh, transformation on the body is there that uh, with that inside his heart that kind of fine body is there inside that nothing is happened for that fine body this body only external body in old age it's getting old and some uh, young age is there bhagwan speaking that this actually just external body is getting transformed you just uh, actually transform your heart that your fine body you just need to transform it then i can understand that beta you are the actual son of your father then i can understand prahlad maharaj that's why speaking that just when he is getting consciousness immediately that boy should be uh, just engaged in hari bhajan that's it that that should be the target so sampurna that saturation point definitely gonna come if by pure guru vaishnav inside them there is no kind of desire in them why because they have that transcendental desire they are having inside their heart they don't have material desire that's why for saturation that saturation means that bhakti they have got bhagwan himself speaking this point that on to my lotus feet who is actually serving me that bhakti that is the actual nectar that by that kind of desire should be there to get that nectar that whole uh, jealousy will go off that kind of saturation will come the if you are doing that transcendental vichar that raganuga rupanuga bhajan that transcendental saturation you can get why because it will go on increasing so that i can just love bhagwan more and more and can do serve serve bhagwan more and more that is actually good that in this material world that saturation point to come it is not at all possible in this material world so that's why satya means that which has some existence satya means that who has some existence that all kind that all this tavar jangam everyone that is actually mangalmay that jangam means yes tavar that 
that Haridas Thakur, we have already just got it from Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur, he is actually giving the glorification of Harinam and he is speaking to Mahaprabhu, he is doing discussion about the glorification of Harinam and Mahaprabhu asking Hari, Haridas that how these kind of Muslim people and Yavan people can get delivered, that Haridas Thakur is speaking that don't worry Mahaprabhu because these people are also actually not at all directly speaking Ram, name of Ram, they are speaking Ha Ram, this Ha Ram by that that Nama Bhas will be done automatically. Ha is one explana- ex- exclamation and it will be Ha Ram. So, okay, Haridas, this uh, your uh, this uh, this Thavar, it is there. How this uh, trees, mountains, hills, how they can get the actual Mangal. Now, when you are actually doing Prabhu Harinam with full in- with full bhav, loudly. So, with this, what will happen? That sound vibration of your transcendental sound vibration, that Haridas Thakur, it is technically I am speaking, that this is the actual, uh, actually spoken by Haridas Thakur, that this your sound vibration coming from your transcendental mouth, that actually all actually getting, uh, uh, getting dashing and pushing by those Stavar Jangam, and some echo is coming, no? That here actually you are uh, in this hill, mountains you are speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Like this it is coming. Haridas Thakur speaking that is not eco. This is Jangam. That Stavar you are actually just speaking Harinam in front of them. Maybe today or tomorrow they are just giving return back your answer. That it is actually truly. And now you can see that scientific development you have got. By that what happens? That here one Hari, one way, one... Harikatha is going on somewhere and sound vibration is going all over the world. How it is possible? So this Haridas Thakur, previously lot of 500 years back, he is speaking this point. So Haridas Thakur is actually so much fine form, he is actually speaking, that he is speaking, that all sound actually is getting propagated, that each and every place it is actually getting propagated, your sound vibration, very nice Siddhan, so whatever be the case. All in this whole Stavar Jangam, infinity world, that they are actually just craving for the Kripa of pure Guru Vaishnav. That they are actually just getting full craving from pure Guru Vaishnav Kripa. But still, they are they are all actually persons are thinking them as enemy. Now I don't have to time today. I don't have time today to just discuss more. Just forgive me for that. Tomorrow, next week I will be just discussing it in... Uh, Toto in front of you in more details that what do you mean by ghost about that I will be discussing and up till now I will be just giving rest up till now evam janam nipatitam prabhavahi kupe kama vikama manuya prapatano prasanya kritvat mushat surar sina bhagavan grihita so aham katham nubisrije tavabhi to seva वान शकल पुत्रों से के पास इन वो जो पति तानं पावने भो इश्ना भियो नमो नमः